Okay, Governor. How come you guys weren't at the data analytics deal? That was uh, something, too. Heath, what's the problem with you? We can't keep up with you, Governor. Yeah, I know. Okay, i got to go in Cleveland, so just a few. Governor, this uh, going after big oil, oil and gas industry, I mean, this could be a crack. What, what has been a pretty united Republican uh, front here with your lawmakers. Um, I'm expecting a big Oh, no, I think we're going to, I think we'll absolutely get a higher severance tax. It's just a matter of time. I've said it all along, and uh, it will be part of comprehensive uh, tax reform. You know, and Ohio has to get its uh, has its income tax down. I'm not surprised that people, you know, where this is, you know, who, whose land these wells are, are like, oh, wait a minute. But frankly, if you write your contract well, big oil will pay for it. And 20 cents on an 80 or 90 dollar barrel of oil, it just it's, it's so outdated. It's and we will still remain more competitive than anybody else. We'll get there. You say that they know that it's coming. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that do lawmakers know that as well? Oh, I, I, look, yeah, there's all kinds of conversations going on. It's just a matter of when. Jim, look, I spent 10 years of my life defeating the B-2 bummer and 10 years of my life balancing the budget. Uh, it does, you don't, don't do these things in a day. But, look, San, it, we will have a, a fair resolution of this, of this issue. I have no doubt about it. Governor, if you would comment on the nutrient management efforts uh, underway here in the state. Well, I mean, Jim Zeringer and uh, and Dave Daniels want to make sure that uh, that we manage this appropriately. We don't we don't want things uh, any runoff going into into uh, Grand Lake St. Mary's or contributing to problems in Lake Erie. And farmers get it. And some of it involves new technology, new ways of doing things. And um, every report I have is that um, is that farmers are being you know really they're they're stepping up and. You're always going to have a few outliers, but so far, uh, I think so good. We just have to keep it going and not let up. Is there a concern that uh, that regulations are um, a definite if something is not done in the next uh, uh, go around here? Uh, I, you know, I wouldn't. Uh, I, I don't ever try to guess tomorrow. I got enough things to try to figure out today, but look, we're making good progress, and that's what matters. And it's not an easy issue, and sometimes it's. Uh, it's new ways of operating for our farmers, and they've got their issues. But look, we're, we've made great progress, for example, in Grand Lake St. Mary's, and we're up at the in the Lake Erie watershed making sure we, we make great progress there. You know, we have a problem with Detroit and then dumping a bunch of sewage into the lake, which causes big problems. But farmers, you know, they're playing their role in, in, in getting uh, on top of this. Going back Governor, to do you think there will be a, a deal reached to avoid the fiscal cliff in Washington? And are you concerned about any impact on Ohio if they don't get a deal? I'll let John Boehner and Barack Obama take care of Washington. I'll take care of Ohio. I'm not. I'm not in the business of speculating about that place. Every time I fly into Washington, I break into a cold sweat. We'll see. Would Ohio be impacted though if they don't get a deal? Well, I mean, we would have. Yeah, we would have programs would be uh, that be cut. You know, my view on this is. Uh, we have to be part of the solution. Give us the tools that we need to be able to manage things. Um, everybody can't say not me, but give us tools, give us flexibility, give us what we need. The same way when, when we, in Ohio we ask people to do things different, we gave them tools and we need to have tools and that's my message and um, I'll keep, keep sounding out. Governor, is an income tax cut, is that your number one priority? I have, of, number, I have a lot of number one priorities. No, I, I have a lot of them. I, I don't list them. I like all of my priorities. All the priorities the administration is... Well, lower income taxes are critical to our state. I mean, look, um, we have to keep moving forward as a state. We have to keep innovating. We have to keep pushing the envelope. And our income taxes are too high. Uh, you look around the country, the states that grow fastest, the ones that are, a lot of states now that are moving to lower their income taxes. So I think it's really important for small business, and we know that small business is the, is the most important area of job growth uh, in America, in Ohio. And you lower their income tax, and they're likely to be more prosperous and for jobs, and that's what we're all about. Back to the severance tax, I think that one of the challenges is a misunderstanding. It seemed like somebody thought that that tax was going to be put on them and not the big gas oil companies. Well, I think probably the people that were objecting are people that have wells on their land who didn't negotiate a good agreement. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know, uh, you know, but there is no risk here. Listen, I talked to, I talked to oil executives. I've been to Houston, I don't know how many times now. Some of them scratch their heads and say, why hasn't, why haven't we tennis? Could you explain that to me? And I give them a list of name people to call. Governor, 
what effects are we experiencing in Ohio from lack of farm bill in our agricultural community? In the You'd have to ask Jack sure the whole extent of all that. Okay, thank you all very much. Did you get anything from the governor of Michigan when the Buckeyes? No, he's you know. <laughs> last year, did you make a bet? There? No, no, we didn't. We didn't make a bet. Um, That's too bad because we won. Well, I, I just think the reason Ohio State didn't win last night in basketball is we don't want to just own everything. Right. <laughs> <laughs>